Yo, I see a red light and it's moving, guys. I see a red light and it's moving. Oh my god. What is that? This is a clear case of a like a psychopath. What's up sergeants? Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a serious adventure. I have my friend Mo with me and up, it's only us two here. And what are we doing, Mo? We're about to camp out here in the forest. We're about to camp out in our forest. <laughs> exactly. And the reason why we're doing this today is because we're actually staying the night here to see what's going on with this guy that's living on the property. Now, you guys know I had the problem with the homeless clowns in the past, but now we have this guy that showed up the other day and then disappeared because he's dressed as a camel man. Like legit, he's wearing camel gear and he ran through here. I don't know if he was just a hunter. He could have just been a hunter, but we did found evidence that he's been living at the other camp. Oh, yeah. The one that's far, far away, deep inside the forest. So what we're planning on doing, I do have my, my camel gear too. That's funny. We're chasing a camel guy. I should get one of those too. You should, but what are you wearing right now? Oh, look oh, at that. Yeah. Look at that Team Mo Sarji hat. We got the Live a Little Camo Edition, the Team Mo Sarji Camo Edition. You guys can get those in the links down below from mosarji.shop. Now, let's get serious for a sec. Um, we are going to be camping out tonight. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to see if this guy is out here, if he's actually using our property, or if he was just hunting. If he was just hunting and moving along, I'm okay with that. I don't want that to happen. I don't want you guys showing up. Um, I'm sure somebody leaked the address to this place a while ago, which is why people are coming here. But what we're gonna do now is set up all our stuff, start a fire. We have a nice fire pit over here. Uh, well, I mean, it needs to be built. So the reason why we chose here because the abandoned house is right over here. The river is right over there, or the creek. And this is kind of like the mid spot. So if anybody's coming in and out of here, it's gonna be through here because the road is to our left. Smash like button. We're planning on camping out the night. We're planning on sleeping here. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Nothing might happen. We might catch some wolves. We might catch a bear. We might catch some coyotes. Or, or, or we might catch a camel man. Ooh. Let's find out what happens. As you guys can see, the camp is built. We got my good old trusty pop-up tent, which pops up in seconds. We got a chair here to lounge around. We got some gear over here. Let me show you guys what we got going on over here. We got a bow and arrow in case we got to shoot some motherfucker. We got some arrows right here. We got some propane. We actually have the propane gun that the freaking homeless guys that were living on my property tried to attack me with. You guys remember they left it in the house when they ran off. Also a machete over here to keep us safe from whatever the heck it is we got to attack. Bottle of water. Mo's got his water. I got a nice big a bright light for late at night that's going to light up this entire forest. And the battery on this thing lasts a very, very long time. And we got Mo working over here overtime. Look at this. The man's building us a fire pit. What's up, guys? <laughs> that's crazy. You literally built this thing so quickly. Yeah, man. All right, I'm going to help him out, and then we're going to start a fire because we're going to need it to get rid of all these mosquitoes. Ah, nothing like some fire. You know what's good about this fire? That it's smoking right now. It's going to alert this guy if he's on the property that we're here and we're not no, we're not messing around. Exactly. Get the hell out of here. We're still working on getting this thing going, guys. Hopefully the guy's nice, you know? Maybe he's, he'll, he'll be understanding. If he was understanding, he would have talked to us when we saw him the other day. Yeah, that's true. But he wasn't, right? So I don't feel like chasing people again. Yeah. Heard, that was crazy. Guys, smash the hell out of that like button. If you guys want us to make something out of this, like, we want to talk to this guy. We want to know why he's on our property and possibly get him arrested. Like we did Steve. Steve got arrested. He went to jail. Um, dude, it's crazy how, like, I literally filmed Steve getting arrested, which I did put... Um, the uncensored version on the Mosarji app. You guys can only watch it there, the unblurred version, because his face was full of blood. YouTube kept demonetizing the video. Um, but we actually got his real face. Cops were arresting him and everything. And you can only watch it on the Mosarji app. So download the app, become a member to watch it. I do want to talk to him. I don't want to attack him or kill him or anything like that. Um, but I just want to talk to him. Look at this fire, dude. It's raging. Oof. Yeah. Yo, this is amazing, bro. We're pros. Yeah, but we're kind of stupid though. You know why? Because we literally have an entire tree oh, shit. over that's, the fire. It's <laughs> linked the entire forest. Bro, we can literally we, set the entire this ecosystem on fire. not a good idea. Yeah. Oh, we'll find out. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> the adventure is going to begin now. We've established a campground. We got the tent, we got the fire going. We're actually going to go off deep into the forest now, hike all the way to the abandoned camp where the homeless guys were, where we discovered somebody living there again, which turned out to be the camel guy, which you guys saw in the last episode. But we're gonna go back there and see if he's there again, or there's more evidence of him being there. So fingers crossed, if he's not there, then this video is gonna be short, it's gonna be done with. We are making our way into the scary parts of our forest. Literally, 
there's like nice parts and then there's scary parts. I mean, you guys have seen it a million times. And if you haven't, welcome to Mo Sarji and Mo. What's up, guys? <laughs> Mo Sarji and Mo's Scary Forest, where people come here and live rent free and they cause problems and havoc. The funny thing is, is this guy still does not know his way around the forest. I do. Let's see if anything's changed and let's see if. Oh, what the f oh I thought that was somebody there. That sign over there, I, like that's that was leaning down. Yeah, holy shit! Whoa. Scared the crap out of me. Wait, is this right now real talk? I haven't been here in a while in the dark. It's pretty creepy. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been here at nighttime? Of I course. can't remember. Yeah, I, think so. I have memories here at night. I have nightmares. Yeah, true, true, true. What? Yo, we weren't recording that, but somebody just screamed. Like a man just screamed really loud. Like almost like he was in pain. Yeah, that was weird. Like he dropped, I feel like he dropped something on himself or I don't know what. Dropped something? Like, no, no, it felt like, 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 yeah, a like a scream of agony. Exactly, like he's under a rock or a I don't know what. Oh, there it is again. Oh, did you get that? Yeah, someone is like in pain. What the fuck was that? Hello? Yo, get that machete out, just in case. Are you okay? Hello, is anyone here? That sounded like it came from down there, like near where the tents and the campsite is. Not our tent, the, the abandoned campsite. You think so? Yeah, that sounded like it came from there. It sounded like somebody was in agonizing pain. Thank God you know your way around this forest, bro. No, I know every inch of this Very forest, nice. except the parts that we haven't explored yet, because there's still lots that we haven't explored. It's 100 acres, dude. We've literally only explored True. like 30 acres or, or 40 acres. <laughs> cool. There's like shit. wetlands and there's areas we've never gone. It's so true. Oh, that's crazy. I always forget how big it is. But we have a situation now. We just heard someone's voice. Hello? It's further down? Well, it came from this way, right? Yeah. I'm taking point. There's no way. There's no way this guy like was just here. Like it sounded like it came from here. Like actually from this area. Mm. Hello? Sir? Let's keep going, let's just go. Bro, this branch reminds me of the the one that's above our, our fire. Yeah, I hope it didn't catch fire. <laughs> oh my god. We'll know soon if anything. I tried to knock it down, but it's it's stuck in there pretty good. I just don't want that to fall on anyone's head. Is it? No. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. It's a good stick though. It's a nice one. It's possible this guy was just here since we heard him so close. And he actually might have gone to his campsite, so we should actually like approach quietly. I don't want to have the machete out. Like if he is here, I don't want to think we're hostile, right? Exactly. Just like, or you just want to talk to him and, and see why he's on our property. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yo, at this point, let's try to be quiet. If he's around, if he's wearing camo, he's camouflaged and we can't see him. He probably sees us. But his campsite is literally right over there. Um, let's go. I'm kind of nervous, but we're gonna confront this guy if he is here. All right. Well, if he is here, he's gonna be camouflaged. So keep your eyes wide open, because he was wearing camo the last time, and he was literally right by us. Like I, we didn't even notice until I reviewed my video. We walk. We literally walked right by him. Hello? Anyone here? Hello. Sir? Hello? Excuse me. Anyone living on our property? Yo. What is that? Bro. What is that? That wasn't here the other day. Morgan's diary. Whoa, let me see that. Let me see. Morgan's diary, bro. What the fuck is that? Oh, what the f Dude, this was not here the other day. Actually, you. Logan's diary. What is that? Look at that picture. What is that? 
Logan, Logan. Oh, it stinks. Logan, 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 Logan. This is someone's diary. Maybe his name is Logan? Hey, Logan. Logan, are you with us? I'm gonna keep this on me. Hey, Logan, what are you doing on our property? Logan. If, if it's his and he wants it, then he's going to have to come and get it. You're going to keep it on you, bro? Look, I'm going to keep it on me, yeah. Bro, it looked really fucked up. What was that? It was like some weird shit on it, right? Yeah. No. Hey, Logan, are you here? No. Right. There's a there's a sheath for oh, a knife. What the fuck? On the ground. No, I don't, I don't remember. So he's he's probably got a knife on him. Well, he's not here. Should, not we, right should we go back to the campsite? Yeah, bro. Because, dude, we heard somebody screaming, right? Yeah, so we show up, no one's here. And then there's a diary in his in the fort where he's Yo, been let's living. Go, let's go check. Let's go. Yo, what if it's Logan Paul in here? Logan Paul, Logan Paul, are you in this fort? Yo, I swear to God. I'm not making this up. I just seen somebody heading back down towards where we came from. Like I seen a bot, like a shadow of, of something. Yeah. Oh. Shh, shh. Something's moving. You got that? You got that flashlight on you? We're gonna need a lot of light here tonight. Someone's here. Well, we wanted to know if someone's still here. Someone's still here. Yeah. We heard a scream. We found a diary. Yeah, Dude, we should open that diary back at the campsite. Yeah. Like he's got to be hiding somewhere in the bushes. You know what I mean? So we got to be very f observant. You just never. <gasps> oh! Oh, what the f That's him. That's him right there. Hey. Hey, Logan. Logan, is that you? Bro, what the f Bro, what the f Logan. Watch your step, watch your step. Turn on your flashlight if you have to. He's actually here, huh? Yeah, he's actually here. I don't, the flashlight? Oh, no, you have it. Check your pocket, check your pocket. There it is, come on. Logan, he ran off this way. He went to the right. He went this way. Hey, Logan. Logan. You smell that? Yeah. What does that smell like to you? Like cheap cologne, cheap musk. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's like that old man smell. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of the old man like smell. The guy you, like the teacher you had in elementary school. When we had the Steve problem, it always smelled like cigarettes. This guy smells like old musk. Ew, it's disgusting. All right, so he's here. But why? Hey, Logan, we have your diary. We got your diary right here. Come and get it wherever you are. Oh, I'm pretty sure he knows, dude. Logan. Logan. We got your diary. We're going to read it. Logan's diary. You heard that? Here, let's go that way. Yeah. Man, this guy was hauling ass, so he must know. He must have been here for a while. You know, like, if he knows the lay of the land here. Who the f is this guy though? Right? He's probably been here for a while because we haven't been here in a long time. I should have brought my rifle. That's a good idea, man. I should have actually brought it with me. Do you have a handgun? No, well, I do, but it's at That's home. What? No, I mean, whatever. I'm gonna shit. It's at home. Where is this guy? Dude, he's, he's literally probably watching our lights. We should shut off yeah, our lights. Yeah, let's shut off our lights and head back to camp. I'm gonna keep it a little bit dark, guys, because if our lights are on, this guy can see us. Is it just me or did it get scarier? I, I don't know about you, but I don't get like the vibe of I'm in danger with this guy. Yeah, not yet. I'm just more afraid of the, the animals in this Like place. with the homeless guys that were dressed like clowns, dude? Yeah, those guys are creepy. Those guys scared the shit out of me because they were dangerous. Bro, they had flamethrowers, which we have one of them now. And they had freaking weapons all the time. And these guys were literally trying to kill us. Those guys are psychopaths. Are we 
Are we what? Are we near the cafe? How do you still not know the way back? <laughs> We're like 10 minutes away. We got a, yeah, it's a lot of walking. A lot of walking. This thing gets me every time. <gasps> Is that a chainsaw? That's what it sounds like. Is that a chainsaw? Yeah, it's a dog. I, I hear a dog too, yeah? I hear a chainsaw though. I heard, yeah, it's, it's still on. What the f***? Okay, um, keep, keep that machete out. Keep it out, keep it out. We were just saying we're not worried about this guy. Take that machete out, hurry. Just in case. Oh man, where are these guys coming from? How do they have my address here? Like, I don't get it. You heard somebody laughing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a duck. Okay. Is that a geese? A geese? That was a stupid Canadian geese. <laughs> They're going to Shane, Florida. They're just as annoying as Trudeau. All right, guys, we're back at camp right now. The fire was out when we got here, which is weird. We left it running. Could have just gone off by itself, but something suspicious about it. We're going to open up that diary and read and see what's in it. Okay, so right off the bat, this dude's a weirdo. There was a diary in his tent. It says Logan's diary. We got some 666, the typical satanic bullshit on the back. Yeah. The moment you open it, you have his name. Logan, 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 Logan. So I'm guessing this guy's name is Logan. And when you flip it to the next page, you got like a fucking goat demon. Look at this dude. Show me, yeah, that's what I saw when I opened it. A goat demon. What is that? It's like a goat demon. It's like it represents a devil? Yeah, that's usually what that means. Like devil worshiper, Satanist. Yeah, exactly. Um, bro, this flyer is like gonna pop right on us. We got some drawings. I guess this guy likes to draw. I hope he dies tomorrow. Who's he talking about? I have no idea. Okay. It's a, I mean, it's, a, it's his diary, right? Yeah. Is that it? Oh, he's probably just mad. I think that's it. Yeah. That's all he's got in his diary? Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, oh. what the fuck? Is that him? No way. Bro, there's no way that's him. No way. There's no way that's him. This guy looks familiar. I've never seen him before. I don't know. If, I, I don't know if that's him, guys. It, this could be him. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Let's read what it says here. Not, bro. That's scary. Oh, bro, look at this. It's dated. Oh eight ten twenty three. When's oh eight ten ten? Oh eight ten twenty three. Is that like August? August. August tenth. What the fuck? So this guy's been out here since August. We're about to read what's inside of this diary. I usually don't. Like when, I, when my sisters were kids and they had diaries, I never went through their diaries. Yeah, it's like right. a personal thing. But this guy's diary is on my property, and I, like he's got satanic shit all over it. Dear diary, I can't forget what he did. His fame, his followers, they shield him from the truth. But I remember, I remember everything. What's he talking about? Jesus. That's weird. <laughs> Years ago, when I was just an ordinary person, Bro, if this is the, this guy, what he looks like, and if this is what he looked like years ago, no way in hell this guy's just an ordinary person. No way. Years ago, when I was just an ordinary person trying to make ends meet, I stumbled upon his online presence. He was charismatic, entertaining, and full of life. His videos brought joy and laughter to millions. What's this guy talking about? I don't know. For the record, like I'm gonna show you, like I'm not making this up. Like, you guys can... Is it focused? Yeah, yeah. You guys can screenshot and read that for yourself later. One day, I decided to reach out to him, a fan, hoping for a reply. To my surprise, he responded. We exchanged a few messages, and I believe that I had made a connection with my idol. Somebody's walking here, isn't it? Hello? Someone was just walking here, yeah? I heard something too. Yeah, me too. I even heard something on that side. Hey Logan, we're reading your diary. Does that make you mad? Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> that was so loud. All right, let's go back, let's go back. Someone was crying. Big time. I heard that. Sound like a girl. Sound like a girl crying, like yeah. agony. Yeah. But I don't know if they can hear it because there's road noises and the fire noise. 
Anyways, let's, let's go back to reading this. We're gonna read your entire diary, Logan. Guys, this is weird. I've never had anything like this before. But who's he talking about? One day I decided to reach out to him, a fan hoping for a reply. To my surprise, he responded. We exchanged a few messages and I believe that I had made a connection with my idol. But it all changed in an instant. Again, you guys can see this for yourself. Let Mo focus on that. There you go. You got it? Hold on, yeah. Should catch it up. I reached out to him for help in a time of desperation. My family. Maybe it was a bad idea sitting here. My family was facing financial ruin and I had nowhere to turn. I thought maybe, just maybe, he would use his influence to help a loyal fan. Instead, he ignored my plea as if I were nothing more than a nuisance. What does it say? He d more than a nuisance. He didn't even acknowledge my existence. The writing gets really bad yeah, over here. Must have. Again, something you guys can see for yourselves. There's too much light on it. You got that? No. No? Hold on. Whoa! Jesus. <laughs> Almost got the focus. He moved it. My messages went unanswered. My calls ignored. My world crumbled, and I blame him for my family's suffering. Who the f is this guy blaming? This indifference fueled. I can't read that part. What is it? Where? Wait, 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 wait. I heard somebody walking in leaves. Do you hear that bird? I heard a bird Something's there. disturbing it. Okay. So there. he's here. Or someone's here. My messages went unanswered. My calls ignored. My world crumbled. And I blamed him for my family's suffering. This indifference fueled a growing anger within me. I watched as he continued to gain followers, basking in, in the adoration of millions, while my life spiraled into darkness. So this Logan guy is depressed, clearly. Yeah. Right? Big time. That's when I made the decision to disappear and live off the grid. What was he talking about? Holy shit. Yeah, I, I saw like, that. I think it hit my foot. It was like a We've switched locations because we were getting hit with like ambers. So that's when I made the decision to disappear and live off the grid. So what? This guy wants to live in our forest off the grid? For free, uh, yeah. No. Seriously. From the world he thrived in, I vowed to make him understand my pain, to make him feel the helplessness I felt that day. Now deep in this forest, I planned my revenge. What the f is this guy talking about? What a psycho. I will make him see the consequences of his actions. Make him understand what it's like to have everything taken away. So like, says who's this guy talking about and who took what away from him? Maybe his girlfriend. So he tried something. to reach out to an influencer? Dude, is he talking about me? Cause like so. anyone that reaches out to me, I literally like... Yeah, you always talk to them. Talk to them, help them out, exactly. give them advice. All I can do is give them advice. I, I can't give you money, but I can give you advice to make money. Exactly. He may be famous, but he will not escape the reckoning I have planned. I will get my revenge. Oh, f sakes. What? Read that. Do you see that? Oh, f bro, come on, man. I will get my revenge, Almost Mo like, Sarge. You Are you f kidding what? me? So this guy used to be a fan and now he's a hater? Yeah. Even if it's the last thing I do. Yeah, of course. Oh my god, dude, look at what it says on the other page. Holy crap. I was not even listening to me. I heard some footsteps, bro. Bro. You hear that? He's, he's here. He's watching us. He probably wanted Most us to read this. Must, what? Look Most what it says. must die. Most Sergi must pay. Okay, I'm trying to read it. Yeah, what, what did you do to him? Most Sergi must die. Most Sergi must pay. Most Sergi must die. Most Sergi must pay. I will get him one day. He will feel the pain and suffering. That kind of rhymes. But what did I do? Like, I don't even remember who this guy is. Like, if that if that's his picture, then... I've never seen that, I, to be I've honest. never seen this guy. I've never talked to this guy. I mean, I talk to a lot of you guys, and I, I remember faces. Trust me. I don't remember names, but I remember faces. Look what he's got going on over here, dude. This is a clear case of, a like, a psychopath. This guy must have been a fan into the paranormal. Exactly. Watches my... Look, hail Satan. Oh, he's a Satanist. He's a f***ing Satanist, of course. Fuck. Um... Oh my god, dude, this is graphic. I don't know if I can show this on YouTube. What is it? It says I will hang him. Oh, bro, no, this guy's seriously out for you. 
bro, like if this guy was to reach out to me right now, I would literally talk to him. Hey, Logan, if you're around, like. Did you hear that? When it said Logan, are you around? He moved. Yeah. I kind of want to stand now. I don't feel safe anymore. Got the machete? No, no, no. L l listen, listen. Here. Yeah. Let's 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 think about this. If this guy's here, like, hey, Logan, if you just come and talk to us, we'll talk to you, buddy. We're more than happy to talk to you. I mean, if you think I ignored you in the past, I'm sorry, but. Like, there's like millions of people that hit me up all the time. But I'm actually down to helping you out, man. Logan, do you hear me? I'm literally down to helping you out. Dude, I would literally get this guy a hotel yeah, room if he needs a place to live. Seriously. Don't so he's, 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 we're reading his, uh, he's probably, yeah, he's probably mad that we're reading it. I will hang him in a picture right there. Oh, That's crazy. What else did he? Dead people, something. I, I can't even read this writing. I have no idea. Some alien writing. Dude, he's a he's a nutcase. You can tell this guy's a, a nutcase. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I thought these were boots. But for his, I was gonna say this exactly. Look like boots. What the f is that? What the f oh, that's you. What the? F bro, this guy's got, bro. He's got a noose around my neck. Yeah. He's edited my head off one of my thumbnails onto a body. This is his body, I think. What the fuck? Yeah, that's definitely not your body. What is that? He's got a, a shirt that has satanic symbols on it. He's got a noose around my neck. Uh, my hands are bound. What the f is this guy? Is this guy for real? This guy doesn't want people. That, that scared me for a sec. I thought it was a picture of him, and then I see my face. Yo, okay, this changes everything. This guy's a freaking psycho. Again? Fuck, bro, come on. That's coming from our property, a dog. Yeah, I heard that too. All right, so let me ask you guys something. What would you do in this situation? Would you still try to help this guy even after he's got a picture of me? I don't know, man. We should try at least, bro, because I don't. I just like... heard a big fucking stick in the woods break. Yeah, I did too. I think he's running in there. Um, I want to see here. I'm gonna keep this light aimed that way. Just in case. I want to see if there's anything else in here. This whole diaries is full of stuff, dude. Is it? Uh, I don't know, actually. What's written on the side here? Is there anything written? Like, close the book. Close I think it's... I think oh, it's something at the end. Right it's just, open. No, no, open it's just it. ink. I opened... The, I saw something at the end right there. Right there. What's that? In red. I hope... We already opened that. I hope he dies tomorrow. Okay, okay. Did we already open that? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay, I thought that was the end of the book. Close it? Or yeah. Does it say anything on the side? Um, it just says Logan's Diary. Logan's Diary. Yeah, there's a dog. That's interesting. Oh my god, like... Why does this always happen? Like, So there's a fan. Basically what we got from this is there used to be a fan. He used to be obsessed with me, clearly. He reached out to me. I heard that. Come from over here. So basically what I got from all this is that homeboy has messaged me in the past to talk to me. Now, now guys, I talk to so many fans, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, on Facebook, um, rarely on Facebook, but more Instagram and Twitter. Follow me at Mosarji. I talk to a lot of you guys here and I actually tried my best to help each and every one of you guys out. Like there's always a lot of people that are very depressed out there and I legit go out of my way to help you guys out. Like advice is the greatest thing that you can get from someone, especially someone that's started from nothing and then made it somewhere in life. Now I'm not saying I'm at, I'm at the top. I don't actually ever wanna be at the top. I just always wanna be in a good position where I'm humble, I can help people out and I can make a bit of money. Now I wasn't always you know, making money. I grew up in Lebanon in the slum. I grew up in a war zone. I came from war, um, seen enough death and bloodshed back in Lebanon, moved to Canada, you know, worked as a pizza delivery guy and as a mechanic my entire life. And then eventually it popped off for me on YouTube, all thanks to God. And now I do my best to help each and every one of you guys because it's always the same thing. Hey Mo, I'm going through some financial problems. Can you help me out? I can't give people money. If I give everybody money, is that going to incentivize you to work hard and actually succeed? No, it's just going to keep incentivizing you to ask for more money. So that's why I don't give money, but I do give advice and I give pretty good advice all the time. 
Now, I don't know if I've ever communicated with this Logan guy. It's possible that I did. But I would never insult or disrespect a fan ever. I would never insult or disrespect anyone ever, for that matter. Let alone a super fan. Now, I don't know where this guy got his information from, where I was like, I ruined his... He said I ruined his family or something? Yeah. I ruined his life, his something family, happened. everything, right? Something happened to him that he's really, really, really pissed off at. So I don't get it, like... Yeah, he's never... Seriously, you've treated all your fans like... Actually, we came out here to camp out, have a good time, enjoy, you know, what we have left of this good weather before the cold comes in. And that's what we're gonna do. So let's just enjoy it, you know what I mean? It's been about an hour. We haven't really had anything happen, but I just got this idea. I kind of feel bad. Like, this guy reached out to me for help, and somewhere down the line, I failed him. And I feel bad for that, I really do. And I wanna help him out. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go back to the tent where I found his diary. I'm gonna return his diary. Um, if he knows that the diary is missing, he's probably pissed off about that. But in a, a show of good faith, I'm going to return it to him, give it to him. You stay here and guard the camp. Okay. I'll go alone. You know what I mean? You sure, you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'll be okay. I, I, I don't think this guy's going to be dangerous, right? Like, I, I think if he was dangerous, he would have tried something right now. I know. Yeah. Maybe he's just, he just wants to live off the grid. And you know what, man? If this guy turns out to be cool, we'll, we should just let him. If he wants to live off the grid, just let him stay in the forest. Yeah, it's true. As long as like he cleans up. Like There was garbage yeah, at that camp. Yeah, he needs to clean that shit up. Yeah. You know, and don't, yeah, don't, don't leave trash around, please. Yeah, because there's a lot of trash yeah, it's, by that it's, campsite. So he, he, he does need to clean it up. Yeah, definitely. So, so if that's the case, dude, I'm, I'm down to letting him. Dude, he could sleep in the abandoned house for all I care. You should just let him know maybe he won't be as pissed anymore. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and try to talk to this guy. Okay. And you keep the fire going. And if he does come here, radio me or call me quickly. Okay. I'll leave a camera for you here anyways. So. Yeah? But yeah, if he does come, just film it too. Okay. All right? All right. Good luck. Yeah, guys. I think that's the right thing to do. Return the diary to this guy. Logan, you know, he seems like a psycho. Or um, not even a psycho, honestly. Maybe he's just misunderstood. I'm going to go give this back to him. Put it in his tent. And hopefully he sees that and hopefully he comes out and talks to me. <sighs> All right, you guys, I'm really nervous about this. But at the same time, I want to show this guy that I mean business and I'm not scared of him. And I'm also, you know, I, 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 ha I want peace. I don't want to be chasing after people and killing people every time we are on our property. So, you know, hopefully this guy sees me right now if he is walking around, which I don't know. Who the heck would be walking around in the complete darkness because literally it is pitch black out here and without a light you cannot go anywhere in this forest hey logan logan nervous 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 hey there's my buddy wilson over here look at that logan There's like a, a bright light over there. I'm gonna turn off my camera so you guys can see that. Oh, that's just the moon. Jeez, I thought that was, I, th I don't know, I thought it was like a spaceship or something. <laughs> it's just the moon, okay. Nothing to worry about. I'm just gonna talk to myself because I'm legit terrified and scared. I hope Mo is doing okay. Left him back at the camp for strategic reasons, obviously. Make sure nobody shows up and steals our stuff while we're out returning the diary. Because if we both had left, we're gonna go put that diary back and this guy shows up to our camp and steals our stuff. Not gonna be good. We have a lot of expensive gear over there. So we don't wanna do that. That's why I volunteer to be the good guy here since this guy did reach out to me. He did wanna meet me and talk to me and he did want my help. So let's go give him that help, shall we? Logan, we're coming to help you, buddy. You don't gotta be camouflaged anymore. Hey, Camel Man. That's what I'm gonna call him. His name is Logan, I think. But we're just gonna call him the Camel Man. Hey, Camel Man. You can be on one of my videos, man, I promise. We can be friends. Just wanna show you guys how dark it is out here. Look at this. Absolutely dark as heck. You cannot see a thing. So there's no way this guy will be walking around. Oh, what? oh, oh there's a red light. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? <gasps> what the f is that? Oh, what the hell? 
Yo, I see a red light and it's moving, guys. I see a red light and it's moving. Oh my god. What is that? Oh, it's him. Logan. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Hey, man. I'm just trying to be your friend. Hey, Logan. I just want to talk to you. I got your diary. I want to return it. Hey, Logan. Where'd you go? Hey, I see you, man. I see you hiding behind that tree. I'm scared now. Hey, I'm coming to you, okay? Hey, Logan, I just want to give you your diary. Guys, I'm so terrified right now. Like, I don't want to show my face because I'm legit terrified. I just don't want to... Do you want to talk? There he is. Oh, what's going on with my flashlight? Uh. Logan. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Hey, 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 hey. What is that red light you got there? Dude, I just want to talk to you. I'm turning off my light so he doesn't see me. Cause if he can see me, he knows where I am. That looks like, why is that so high? Fuck, he just turned it off. There he is. Logan. Is your name really Logan? There he is, there he is, he's going. What the f He just, he just kept going. Oh, what's up with this red light? What are you doing with that red light, man? Is that like a gun or something, like a laser? Actually, I should stand behind a tree if that is a gun. Holy shit. Just thought of that. I'm going to turn off my flashlight now. I can see a red light. There it is. Oh. Hey, man, I just want to talk to you, dude. Like, literally, I just want to talk to you. I'm just going to press on. Go to the campsite. Drop off the diary. It doesn't seem like this guy wants to talk at all. I don't know why. Like, why don't you want to talk? Like, what are you doing here? Okay, you want to live on my property. You clearly know this is my property. You know, this guy did some research to find his place, and he doesn't want to talk. Like, why doesn't he want to talk? I don't get it. Okay, so we got to go that way. Logan, come out and talk to me, man. Bro, this guy's wearing camo. He's got to be here somewhere. There's no way. Logan! This is why this is dangerous. It's so hard to see anything out here. And this camel man is dressed completely in the right type of outfit for this environment. Whatever, man. I'm just gonna go drop off that diary and just head back to Mo. I wonder how he's doing. It's been a while since Mo's gone. I don't know where he is. I hope everything is okay. I haven't heard anything in a while. But at least he knows his way around this place. Because if I were gone right now, I'd be completely lost, man, to be honest. I'm literally so freaking terrified. I'm, I'm doing my best to uh, show my face. What the hell is that noise? What the fuck was that noise? That was terrifying. So, I'm doing my best to keep the camera off my face. I know you guys want to see my face sometimes, but it's, it's, it's hard for me. I see a light. I see a light. Oh, there's a light. There's a light. Oh, my God. Way off in the distance. Do you guys see it? That's the moon to my left. But I see an actual light. God, I'm so nervous. I think he's actually at the campsite. there oh my god I'm um, gonna shut off my light guys I don't know if you can see that yeah he's definitely there shit I might switch to night vision maybe get a zoom on him oh, shit I 
should have brought Mo with me. I'm kind of regretting that I did it now. He's there. Look, 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 look. I think he's sitting inside one of the tents. Oh. He's, he's looking around. Oh shit. I think he's moving. I'm gonna switch to night vision to see if I can see him with my long zoom night vision lens. All right, so I gotta apologize to you guys because after reviewing this footage, and keep in mind this footage was filmed a long time ago and I'm no longer back in Canada, um, I don't know where my night footage went. Like, I can't find it. I've been searching through all my memory cards and I have a ton of them. I've checked every file everywhere. I cannot find the footage of um, what happened during the night footage scenes. Basically, I switched over to my night vision camera and what ended up happening is I went to the campsite, I confronted him, I tried to give him back his diary, I threw it back into the tent, and he disappeared on me. And then when I was heading back to go and see if Mo was okay, I ended up getting attacked by him. He jumped out of nowhere, he was hiding in a bush, I guess he was wearing like a ghillie suit. Keep in mind, I was filming all this nonstop on the night vision camera. He ended up taking me down, like he lunged at me and tripped me, and ended up falling like down into like a hole or the bush or whatever and I had a bit of a scuffle with him and he ended up just running off and I couldn't see him because I dropped my flashlight, I couldn't see where my camera was and all that stuff and eventually when I got up and I found everything, he was already long gone. Now while that was happening, while I was trying to get all my gear off the ground, I didn't know that he ended up going back to Mo and tried to scare Mo off as well. I am really, really sorry. I hate uploading footage when I don't actually have the action scenes, which was that, that scene right there. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what happened guys, I just can't find the footage. It, it, like, either the file got corrupted, or there was like some bad luck, some bad freaking vibes that for some reason it didn't record. I'm pretty sure it did record because I did review the footage after we ended that night. I just can't find that footage and I'm really, really sorry. I feel really crummy, but yeah, enjoy the rest of this video. I just wanted to give some context to why I don't have that night vision footage. So, what's that after What was that? I just heard a sound. Maybe it's Mo. Mo? Mo? Mo, is that you? Yeah, I've been waiting for you the whole time, bro. Mo? Oh. Guys, it's the cabin guy. Hey, Mo is looking for you. Mo is looking for you. Did you see Mo? He doesn't want to fight. He's actually trying to help you. Fuck. Mo! He's here! Yo, dude! Yo, guys, this guy just literally ran by here. And I can't... I don't know where he is. Yo, there he is! Yo! Mo's trying to help you! Dude, don't run away! Where are you? We're here to help. Mo went out there trying to look for you. All right? We don't want to fight. We don't want any problems. We have, we're literally here just to help you out, man. So if you want to talk, we can talk. I can hear something from here. Yo, dude. Logan. Logan. Yo. Where are you going? I think this guy's either trying to lure me in or actually scared. Like I said, man, we're here to help. We don't want any problems. We've dealt with too much before in the past, man. This is done. It's most still not back. <sighs> so I think throughout all the commotion, and I think when f***ing camel man lunged at my legs, I dropped my expensive light. All I have is my flashlight, but my light that's on top of my camera, I dropped it. It's $250, this light. I gotta go back for it. But I'm gonna go and find Mo and see if he's okay first. Yo, Mo! 
Bro, the, the, the guy fucking attacked me. No. He literally attacked me. What are you I, he, he, he just showed up here not too long ago. What do you mean he showed up here? He was here. What do you mean he was here? But he was here? running away. He, he was attacked me. And I was telling him we were here to help him. Dude, he fucking tackled me to the ground. Like, actually tackled me to the ground. What the fuck? Bro? I was chasing the guy. Wait, he went running this way up here and I actually ran after him and he disappeared. Wait, actually? So he, he might still be here then. Yo, how long was it when he came here? I don't know, bro. It was like at, le at least half 45 minutes ago. At least. I mean, I've been gone for, I think. You've been gone for a long time. About an hour. Because, dude, I was like hiding out. I filmed him. I secretly filmed him at the actual campsite. Dude, I tried to give him his book back. He wasn't having it. Like, I literally tried to give him the book. I'm like, hey, man, let's be friends. He stood there, looked at me, and then he ran and hid from me. And I told him who I was. And then later on throughout the night, I was like, hey, man, it's Mo Sarji. Like, hey, what's up, yeah, buddy? Yeah. You know? And then he, he f***ing attacked me. Well, that's what I was telling you. I'm like, Mo's here to help you. We're here to help you out, man. Because we're done. We're done try, uh, chasing people and attacking people. <gasps> Wait, you see something? Yeah, hold the camera, hold the camera. He's probably still here, literally. He Logan! Just... I saw him peeking his head over there. Bro, this guy. Hey, Logan! Pop your head out! There's movement in there. Yeah, 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 there's movement up there. Logan! Bro, I'm just gonna start. Just spraying. shoot another one, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna start spraying if arrows. He... And if it hits him, I don't give a f at this point. He attacked me. I still wanted to be friends with him, but what did he did he attack you? No. He literally just ran away and I was telling him we're here to help him out. Show yourself right now before I shoot you with my arrow. Oh, I see him right there. Flashlight. Dude, the guy's fing camel. See, see? Oh, did you hit him? I hit something. I saw him running off. God damn it. Let that be a warning. That's what he did. He ran away. He ran away when I was trying to talk to him. I don't think I hit him. I hope I hope I didn't. I just want to scare him off. I don't want to kill no, him. No, of guy. course not. I don't think he's understanding. We're telling him literally we're help him out, man. Like, I just don't know what to do anymore. What do we do? Every time, there's always some bullshit happening here. What do we do? Stop coming to my property, please. Guys, if you're a fan, I love you with all my heart. And I'm always down to talk to you, but not like this. He's there, he's still there. Oh, he's still there, look at He was just moving around, yeah? Yeah. Logan, come talk to us, man. Bro, I don't want to hurt this guy. I know, it's the don't fucking. But if he said he attacked you, did he hit you? He just like lunged at my legs. Honestly, he didn't even punch me or nothing. He just lunged at my legs. Dude, this guy's a fan, man. I don't think he wants to hurt you, but he, I don't know. Maybe did you see his diary? Yeah, you're he right. Wants you're to right. Hang me. Up. Literally, he had a picture of the hangman drawn, and he, it was a body on the ground. We can't camp out here tonight. Definitely not. This man. is gonna get dangerous for us. Someone's gonna die, and not, uh, it's not gonna be me. Let's get. Let's just go. Let's go. Whatever. We're leaving, Logan.